person on Sunday where I'm thrilled to be joined by the impressionist Jan Ravens. Um, Jan, we are seeing, and some would say about time too, women taking over all over the place. We've got a... Yes, it's a very good time Theresa for the female impression. We have. Yes. So is this, a, is, this, is this the best time for you? That you? I mean, you've been doing this for a few years. I have been doing it for a few years. And, of course, when, uh, when Thatcher was in power, um, Steve Nallon used to do Thatcher on Spitting Image. So he would, you know, he would be you know, a very, very good Thatcher. And, uh, but now, uh, with Theresa uh, coming in with her... Um, her tense mouth and her asymmetric necklines. Um, you know, uh, she's, she's, she's so sort of, she's such a sort of tense person. You get the impression she's yes. like one of those people uh, uh, that can time. never do enough homework. Mm -hmm. And she is <laughs> always uh, you know, keen to show that she has got a sense of humour. After all, I did appoint Boris, uh, foreign secretary. <laughs> but um, her mouth won't actually let her laugh. Uh, you know, it's that sort of, uh, all the time. And, and, you know, there are a lot of other prominent women around the place. Well, where's I mean, Hillary? Pointing and waving <laughs> all the time. I mean, Hillary, you know, what did I do in a previous life? You know, I'm up against Coco the Clown, and people are still saying they're going to vote for him because I don't smile enough? I mean... You know, what is going on? So she's, she's um, you know... She uh, does point and wave and unnecessarily. Oh, she's... Right. Yeah, it's like, oh, all my, all my friends have unexpectedly <laughs> shown up everywhere I go. And, and, and she's surprised that she has got those... <laughs> and then there's Jessie's favourite, Diane Abbott. <clears throat> Robert. Robert, we really have to unite around she's Jeremy. And if Jess <laughs> cannot unite around Jeremy, this is sort of uncanny. Then she <laughs> will be hearing from my friends, Big Frank and Harry the Hatchet, <laughs> because we really need to have a talk so about so uniting good. around Jeremy. <laughs> are, you, are, you feeling, are you feeling? Are you feeling? Are, are you feeling quite scared over that? <laughs> no, no. I mean, she's like, like she's just been woken up. Been quite a nice nap. Well, that's how she sounds. It's just like, what's I, 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 I don't know what's going, what's going, you know, and that sort of rolling, I don't know. Anyway. Now, we've got, we just had uh, Roland Rudd. Now, he has quite a famous sister who happens to be in the cabinet, Amber Rudd. Is she going to feature in your repertoire? Amber Rudd, well, she hasn't really sort of said very much yet, but she's got a very, <laughs> she's, she's yeah, certainly sort of exaggerated yeah, Anna yeah. Subri, because Anna I think that. Is, is, very, is, is very much on the front foot. And very, you know, why doesn't everybody think the same as me? It's all quite plain. Um, whereas Jess is like, well, you know, take, <laughs> it, or, take it or leave it, whatever. <laughs> it's like, you know, and, she, and she's sort of very, very laid back. But, but Anna's kind of, come on, we've all got to sort of, we've and all got to be calm. Now, I'm going to come back to you in just a second, Jan, but we're talking about sort of all laid back. So, Jan, if I could ask you as a huge favour, you couldn't, because um, unfortunately we haven't got Theresa May here, but perhaps yeah. you could, you could say what Theresa May would now be saying to these two rather difficult MPs? Well, I think that um, our, uh, our ta I, I have always employed the tactic of uh, lying low, saying nothing, um, and waiting for the posh boys to screw it up. 